It is slowly becoming one of the most popular races in the world. The Spartan Race is the leading obstacle race series and one New Holland woman is not afraid to get down and dirty in order to be named a Spartan. Well, on Friday, we introduced you to a mother and marketing director, Tracy Brubaker, as she trained for the race. And News 11 Sports traveled with Tracy to the race this past Saturday to document her journey. Worried as like our kids race. The only race series that actually times people ranks and judges them. There are penalties. Thousands of people came out to Blue Mountain Ski Area in Palmerton on Saturday for the Spartan Race, one of the world's toughest obstacle race. That list of competitors includes Tracy Brubaker from New Holland. I'm shaking, yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. In fact, <laughs> scared to death. And everything I can do to prepare for this, so. We just got to get it done now. There will be no running in the shade for Tracy. In the sprint race called the toughest one by race organizers, <laughs> Tracy deals with steep terrain. The course, five miles of hills filled with countless obstacles. Some people might call this madness. When you're 30 or older, you've been through a lot of stuff in your life, and the Spartan race is sort of synonymous with that, with all the obstacles, and with each obstacle you overcome in life, you know, you get a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher. If you think these obstacles are tough, how about throwing in 30 burpees every time you fail an obstacle? Wow, how much you train, it still shakes you to the core. You might think you have to be a big, strong man to participate in the Spartan race, but there's actually something for you ladies. 38% of women participate in this race, and they've even formed a movement called Spartan Chicks. I think five or 6,000 women that belong to this community. Yeah! They compete and they train together and they eat uh, certain recipes and they give each other advice and motivation. It's an incredible movement. This mom of two pulling out all the stops. Had a little injury about halfway through on the water slide. There was no way I was not finishing that race. No way. Her finish won her a future brighter than anything she could have ever imagined. It's very emotional. I worked so hard for this, you know. It feels awesome though. It's good emotional. It's like leaving all that, leaving all those obstacles back there. It was sort of symbolic, so it feels really good. Tracy Brubaker will remember this day forever. It will be hers for all time. Well, great job and congratulations to Tracy for completing that race. It wasn't easy. She did fear she had broken her elbow on the slip and slide obstacle, but good news, it was only a bruise. She should be all healed up in about two weeks and ready to go on her next big adventure, the London Marathon in September.